Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Joshua 22 verse 5 But be very careful to keep the commandment and the law that Moses the servant of the Lord gave you, to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, to keep his commands, to hold fast to him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Matthew 6 verse 24 No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Psalm 63 verse 1 You, God, are my God, earnestly I seek you, I thirst for you, my whole being longs for you, in a dry and parched land where there is no water. Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God this is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Matthew 22 verse 37 Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Deuteronomy 10 verse 12 And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul? Psalm 119 verses 10 to 11 I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. 1 Chronicles 28 verse 9 And you, my son Solomon, acknowledge the God of your father, and serve him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind, for the Lord searches every heart and understands every desire and every thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Hebrews 12 verse 28 Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Mark 12 verse 30 
Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Psalm 105 verse 4 Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. James 4 verses 7 to 8 Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Romans 8 verse 5 those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. Psalm 119 verse 2 Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. Luke 9 verse 23 Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Matthew 16 verse 24 Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. 1 Chronicles 22 verse 19 Now devote your heart and soul to seeking the Lord your God. John 15 verse 5 I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing. Hebrews 10 verse 22 Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. James 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. 1 Peter 1 verses 15 to 16 But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do, for it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. Colossians 3 verse 1 Since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Romans 12 verse 11 Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Psalm 119 verse 58 I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. Matthew 4 verse 10 Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan! For it is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve him only. Psalm 119 verse 145 I call with all my heart, answer me, Lord, and I will obey your decrees. Romans 12 verse 9 Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 12 They entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, the God of their ancestors, with all their heart and soul. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore honor God with your bodies. 
Hebrews 13 verse 15. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. Psalm 119 verse 69. Though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, I keep your precepts with all my heart. John 4 verse 24. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. 1 Samuel 7 verse 3. And Samuel said to all the house of Israel, If you are returning to the Lord with all your heart, then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtaroth from among you and direct your heart to the Lord and serve him only and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Romans 8 verse 6 The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. James 1 verse 22 Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Mark 12 verses 29 to 30 The most important one, answered Jesus, is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Romans 14 verse 17 For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 But godliness with contentment is great gain, Psalm 63 verse 8 I cling to you, your right hand upholds me. Matthew 4 verse 4 Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. 1 Peter 2 verse 2 Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. John 15 verse 7 If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Colossians 3 verse 2 Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Psalm 119 verse 32 I run in the path of your commands, for you have broadened my understanding. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 24 Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. Matthew 16 verse 26 What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world? yet forfeit their soul. Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, 
Do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. 1 John 4 verses 7 to 8 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Philippians 3 verse 14 I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Psalm 16 verse 11 You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Psalm 37 verse 7 be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 Pray continually. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Proverbs 19 verse 21 Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Psalm 34 verse 10 The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Matthew 6 verse 21 For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Psalm 119 verse 130 The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Ephesians 6 verse 10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Psalm 19 verse 14 May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord my rock and my redeemer. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Proverbs 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. 
Hebrews 10 verse 25. Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Psalm 119 verse 11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst? Psalm 119 verse 103. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. 1 Peter 4 verse 10. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Proverbs 3 verse 6. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Hebrews 12 verse 14. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness no one will see the Lord. Psalm 46 verse 10. He says, Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Psalm 119 verse 10. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 16. Be very careful, then, how you live not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Psalm 27 verse 8. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. 1 Peter 3 verse 15. But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Proverbs 2 verses 1 to 5. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding indeed. If you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Psalm 119 verse 18. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Psalm 119 verse 24. Your statutes are my delight. They are my counselors. James 4 verse 8. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Psalm 119 verse 127. Because I love your commands more than gold, more than pure gold. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 143 verse 8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go. For to you I entrust my life. Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. 
and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Psalm 119 verse 14 I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Psalm 119 verse 71 It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. Matthew 5 verse 6 Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Psalm 119 verse 50 my comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. Psalm 16 verse 8 I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Isaiah 26 verse 3 you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Psalm 119 verse 125 I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may understand your statutes. Proverbs 4 verse 23 Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Matthew 5 verse 16 in the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Psalm 143 verse 10 Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Proverbs 2 verse 6 For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Matthew 6 verse 34 Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Proverbs 4 verse 18 the path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Matthew 11 verse 29 Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24 Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Hebrews 4 verse 12 for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, 
It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Psalm 37 verse 23 The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him.